It's snowing again today, but before the snow started to fall this week, we took a road trip down to Halifax to pick up something very, very special. And I'm gonna show you what that is today. We've also had an exciting week with work on our mural beginning. And uh, I will show you where we've got to with that project. And we've also had a new arrival and seen some more big changes in the pub. So stay tuned to see all our progress. And don't forget, if you're enjoying our videos, make sure you hit subscribe on our YouTube channel the Lady Smith Manor Diaries to ensure that you see all our videos first but first let me show you what we've been up to this week so today we are heading down on a little bit of a road trip down to Halifax um, we have a couple of old doors that we need to pick up and we're also going to be exploring to see what other treasures we find at renovated resource so um, hopefully we can find something really cool for the manor so here we are and we are ready to start exploring and if you've never been to Renovators Resource you're missing out because it is an Aladdin's cave of pieces, curiosities, old salvage, furniture, doors, windows, radiators, so many pieces that have come out of old buildings and uh, we love visiting and we always seem to find something that we can use in the manor. And these are the doors that we found at Renovators Resource we brought home with us. And uh, they actually came out of a school in Halifax that was being torn down. They are solid wood. They're so, so heavy and so substantial. And uh, unlike most people, most people when they see fire glass like this, they don't want it in their house. We actually needed doors with fire glass for our, um, by the pub in the corridor. So, this was actually perfect because it meant we didn't have to replace the glass and put fire glass in because it's already there. And I love the fact that you can see here on this one, it's still got the number of the room. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's got such history and character. There's two of them. And so we're gonna be putting them on either side of the uh, corridor as you come into the pub. Um, this will be the door that takes you into the Thirsty Whippet and the other one will be on the other side that will take you into our um, other big room. And uh, so we were so thrilled to find them and I love that we're bringing a little bit of local history into the manor and uh, we just managed to squeeze them in the car. <laughs> they only just fit but uh, we got them home and uh, this weekend, I think we're gonna start putting them in, uh, hanging them on the door frame so that we can see what they're gonna look like. But uh, they were definitely a good find. While we were searching through all the treasures at Renovators Resource, we came across these four lamps. And they're actually designed to go this way. So to hang off the ceiling. But when we saw them, it got us thinking, well, wouldn't these be great table lamps for the pub? So, Stephen is going to um, do his magic with the wiring and uh, we're going to put a base on them and then have them so we can plug them in and actually have them sitting on the tables in the pub, which I just really, in my head, it goes back to that old school kind of um, English, very traditional kind of lighting, but, you know, used to go into the old English pubs and they'd have these, you know, very warm, dim lights on the tables and... I just think these are perfect. So uh, we got them for a great price. It was like one of the best deals we got when we were there. And uh, so we're gonna uh, rewire them and then put in some really soft bulb, like warm bulbs, and uh, they will go on our tables in the pub. So look what just arrived. This huge box has been delivered onto the porch. Uh, it's now snowing and uh, I obviously have to wait till Stephen gets home to get it moved inside because I can't move it myself. Uh, but this is our bar fridge for the pub. And uh, we have been waiting a few weeks for this uh, and now it's arrived, we can actually uh, start constructing the actual bar because we obviously wanted to make sure that we built the bar so this fit underneath. So now it's here, I'm excited to be able to get it inside and to actually open it up and uh, see it in place. So this morning I went to the front door and I found these two boxes waiting for me, which totally confused me because I couldn't think what I'd ordered uh, in these huge boxes. So I opened the first one up and look at what I found. 
in this huge box, one roll of wallpaper. So I was like, hmm, a little strange. So then I opened the second box, and guess what I found? Another roll of wallpaper. So I bought the two rolls of wallpaper, same exact same wallpaper from the exact same store, and they shipped them to me in two huge boxes, one roll in each. I personally think that's crazy. I'm not sure what the thinking is behind that. But either way, my wallpaper arrived, which was very exciting because this is a wallpaper that I have chosen for um, the bedroom upstairs. So we have three suites and we have a fourth bedroom that we're also decorating. It's gonna be called the garden room. And uh, it's actually the room that Stephen and I uh, live in at the moment. And we have chosen this wallpaper and I just love it. So I'm so, so thrilled that it's come and it's beautiful, despite the fact it came in two huge boxes. But it's almost, it reminds me, it's very much got a William Morris feel to it, an arts and crafts feel to it, which I love. Um, and uh, so we're gonna be using the green and then the kind of pinky kind of colors um, and theming the room, like I say, as a garden room. But uh, really thrilled with the wallpaper, not so much thrilled with the packaging, but uh, at least it got it. The lights have now been fitted behind our bar shelves and it's time to turn them on. I've been waiting a really long time to start seeing our bottles on our shelves. We've used our old stair treads, they're now all uh, finished. Uh, we've now got them fixed on the wall and we've got the lights behind them, which just is awesome. So it's... Uh, designed so that it will actually kind of give a little bit of backlight for the for the bottles so uh, I'm just testing out a few I went to the kitchen and picked up a few that I already have um, and then obviously I'm going to be using the shelves I've got one two three four shelves um, and then we've got this larger space underneath for like really big bottles um, but I will, I think we're gonna use the top two shelves as kind of decoration because I can't reach them. Um, and the bottom two shelves will obviously be the ones that we're using on an everyday basis. But I cannot wait to start deciding which bottles go on the shelves. Um, some of these bottles are actually almost empty. Um, I just took them from our shelf and I haven't got much, uh, much gin and things at the moment, but we will, get, we will be putting together a selection of different bottles and different drinks and uh, I will be choosing some of my favorites to go on here um, and uh, then we'll be changing them as we go along um, and highlighting different drinks local breweries local distilleries local wineries um, and they all have their place on our shelf uh, and uh, so you'll be able to come in and see all the bottles when you come to the Thirsty Whippet pub when we open our plug covers arrived this week and uh, Stephen's been around putting them all on and I think they look awesome. They look great against the wallpaper and then they also look really good against the blue. Uh, so we have all the different plugs now um, with their covers and it, it's all the little final details that make such a difference. So work started this week on our second mural. And this one's gonna be here in the entrance hall, the first thing you see when you come through the door of the manor. And uh, we are putting in a big tree. So it will look like and feel like you're sitting under a tree when you're standing here in a few weeks time when it's all finished. But this week has been all about the preps. We've got the scaffolding up, we brought all the paint down, we got the room prepped. And then Jackie and, um, and Peggy have started drawing out the proportions of the tree. Because obviously, if we don't get the proportions right, it's gonna look really daft. Uh, so this week's been about all about, so we haven't got any paint on the wall yet, but we do have the outline of the tree. It's all been kind of measured out and the proportions have been uh, figured out. And then this week coming, they will be coming back to actually start painting. And uh, they, uh, we have a picture that we're kind of using as inspiration. And uh, I saw it and it's just gorgeous. So uh, it's gonna, over the next few weeks, I will be able to show you the progress as we go from what it looks like now, which is a, a white wall with some pencil lines on, to being a gorgeous mural. 
It may not look like much yet with just pencil lines on our wall, but this week, Jackie and Peggy are gonna be coming back to start the painting. And uh, so we're gonna see the mural really come to, to life this week. So uh, I will be, I mean, really excited to be able to see it and also to show you next week on uh, the progress as we, uh, as they paint this beautiful tree that's gonna be here in our hallway and I just cannot wait. So I'm gonna get back to work. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee because it's pretty cold. The snow is coming down today and uh, it feels like the middle of winter again. Um, fingers crossed spring is coming soon because uh, I have to say I'm, I'm pretty fed up with the snow now. But uh, enjoy your week and I will see you back here next week for our next episode of the Lady Smith Manor Diaries.